Four key areas of nutrient intake are water availability, feed availability, feeder adjustment, feed budget. Since water intake is essential for both health and feed consumption, it is important to make sure it is readily available and easy for the pigs to find. PIC recommends one drinker for every 10 to 12 pigs. Water pressure should be 15 to 20 pounds per square inch with a flow rate of one half to one liter per minute depending on the weight of the pigs. Drinkers need to be positioned based on the size of the pigs and the drinker type. 90 degree nipple drinkers should be at the shoulder level. Nipples that are angled 60 degrees downward should be 2 to 3 inches above the shoulder level and bowl drinkers should be at 40% of shoulder level. A key to having sufficient feed availability is to have enough feeder space per pig. This is calculated by measuring the total feeder length in the pen and dividing it by the number of pigs. The amount of space needed per pig varies with the weight of the pig and the type of feeder. With dry feeders, nursery pigs need fewer linear inches per pig than finisher pigs. With wet dry feeders, less space is needed per pig than with dry feeders since moist feed can be eaten more quickly than dry feed. Feeders that do not provide enough space per pig can restrict growth and create stress. Feeder adjustment has a direct impact on feed availability. Pan coverage is a company decision based on each producer's circumstances. PIC feeder adjustment recommendations are based on the percentage of the feeder pan with feed and may be different from the farm you work at. For the first few days after weaning, PIC recommends that 60 to 70 percent of the feeder pan be covered. From one week post winning until the start of marketing, 40 to 50 percent of pan coverage is recommended. When marketing begins and there are fewer pigs in the pen, the pan coverage can be reduced to 35 to 40 percent, which can help reduce wastage without impacting average daily gain. These images are from our feeder adjustment poster and show examples of feed pan coverage for a dry feeder with both meal and pelleted feed, along with impacts from the feeder being too tight or too open. The impact of feeders being too closed or too open are the same for both dry and wet dry feeders. Feeders that are too open can lead to wasted feed and or spoiled feed, which negatively impacts feed conversion. An excess of feed in the pan doesn't provide a performance benefit. Feeders that are too closed caused increased feed competition, negatively impact average daily gain and feed conversion, and can potentially lead to vices problems. In wean to finish, many producers operate wet dry feeders as dry feeders during reception and the first few days or weeks after reception. In that situation, additional water sources should be in place to ensure sufficient water availability until the water nipples in the feeders are turned off. In addition to the challenges associated with a feeder being too closed or too open, the moisture level of the feed in a wet dry feeder pan must also be managed. Feed that is too dry or too wet can affect feed consumption. Wet dry feeders with dry feed in the trough may not provide enough feed access for the pigs in the pen. If the feed is too dry, check water flow at the feeder nipples. Wet dry feeders with too much feed in the trough often result in not enough water availability in the pen since the pigs can't drink from the full trough. Too much feed in the trough of a wet dry feeder also increases the potential for spoiled feed. 
Wet dry feeders with too much water in the trough have reduced feed availability and a higher potential for spoiled feed. Water pressure, flow rate, and nipple function should be checked in feeders with too much water in the trough. This is a list of factors that need to be considered regarding feeder adjustment. These factors frequently interact with one another and need to be considered both individually and collectively to arrive at the correct feeder setting for a given situation. Based on feed pan coverage, which arrow direction is correct for wean pigs and market pigs? Weaned pigs need more pan coverage than market pigs. Which answers represent the possible results of this feeder setting? Poor average daily gain, poor feed conversion ratio, increased feed competition, pan coverage for market pigs, or potential feed outage. Poor average daily gain, increased feed competition, and potential feed outage are the three answers that represent the possible outcomes from the feeder setting shown. Which answers represent the possible results of this feeder setting? A, poor average daily gain, B, feed waste, C, increased feed conversion ratio, D, good for weaned pigs, E. Potential spoiled feed. The three correct answers are B. Feed waste, C. Increased feed conversion ratio, and E. Potential spoiled feed. Feeders need to be checked and adjusted as needed every day, in every pen, every feeder. What is wrong in this picture? The adjustment mechanism has been zip-tied and cannot be adjusted. What is wrong with this photo? This is a wet dry feeder that is dry and there is too much feed in the pan. There are several possible reasons including too little water pressure or flow or an excess of water available outside of the feeder. Is the drinker height correct in this photo? No, it is too low. Is the drinker height correct in this photo? The correct answer is no, it is also too low. As pigs grow from birth to market weight, their body composition changes. Because of this, nutritionists formulate different diets based on the pigs changing nutritional needs and how much they eat as they grow, all the while adjusting for the cost of feed ingredients. This feeding program is called a feed budget. As we focus on feed intake, it is important that the pigs have access to the right feed in the right amount at the right time. A feed budget establishes the amount of feed to be fed per pig for each phase of growth as a way to promote the desired growth and development of the pigs. A feed budget considers the amount of feed expected to be consumed in a given amount of time and the cost of ingredients while maintaining the correct nutritional balance. An imbalance between nutrition and cost can happen when pigs are not fed the correct amount of a given diet. Consumption is higher or lower than expected or the incorrect diet is fed. An effective feed budget should closely match actual feed intake. If it doesn't match actual consumption, the budget won't properly balance nutrition and growth as well as feed costs will be affected.
large enough differences in the budget and actual consumption can potentially trigger undesirable behaviors such as vices. Both feeders that are too tight or too closed and those that are too open have an impact on feed budget effectiveness. Feeders that are too tight reduce feed intake which lowers average daily gain and affects the feed budget by extending days on feed per diet. Being too open increases feed waste, results in worse or higher feed conversion, and affects the feed budget by reducing days on feed per diet. Thermal stress impacts feed budget effectiveness in the following ways. Heat stress reduces feed intake, lowers average daily gain, and extends the days on feed per diet. Temperatures that are too cool increase the amount of feed consumed that is needed for maintenance, lowers average daily gain, and, re and results in higher or worse feed conversion, which reduces the days on feed per diet. Challenges to health impact feed budget effectiveness by reducing feed intake and increasing maintenance needs which lower average daily gain and increase feed conversion resulting in fewer days on feed per diet. The three key points from this video is first, to ensure right feed, right amount at the right time. Second, Feeder adjustments must be based on the pan coverage defined by the company. And third, water availability is the base of feed intake and depends on pigs per drinker, water flow, and drinker height. This is a partial list of additional information available from PIC. For more wean to finish information, visit our website www.pic.com. The recommendations presented in this video are general in nature and are not meant to replace established farm protocols. Each farm should have procedures in place that have been approved by their wean to finish manager. As always, thanks for watching.